this brand new V-Star from Crown Zenith is super tanky and super strong. Roll the intro. What is going on everybody, Hitmonchan and here back again with another Pokemon trading card game online deck tech and this is the first of my many Crown Zenith deck techs. Crown Zenith has introduced to us a really cool bunch of new cards, both old cards with new illustrations that are absolutely gorgeous and new cards that are, you know, completely brand new, some new V-Stars and new V-Max and that they are pretty playable and pretty fun to play and that is really the whole thing with this deck, Regigigas V-Star. It is super strong, super tanky and super fun to play. So I'm just going to get right into it right now. Regigigas V-Star, 300 HP colorless V-Star absolutely insane super super tanky it has the giga impact attack for only three colorless you do 230 damage and during your next turn next turn this pokemon can't attack now that might seem bad but we play a lot of switching cards so that is to uh you know we can avoid that pretty pretty easily and now it's v-star power star guardian is super powerful if you get in the right situation to use it it reads during your turn if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining you may choose one of your opponent's bench pokemon they discard that pokemon and all attached cards so you can basically set up for a you know a checkmate scenario if you're you know down to the wire you and your opponent there's only one prize remaining you can use star guardian and get that other backup attacker they have out of here and win the game because of it hopefully that's what regigigas v star does but now what about the rest of the deck we're only playing a 2-2 line of regigigas v and regigigas v star because we need to make a lot of room for archaeops this isn't with lugia i want to come out right out the gate and say that this is not with Lugia. This is a straight up Archeops build. Uh, so I really wanted to try and make it work. And I think I've had some success with it because Archeops is really strong. And I wanted to be able to use the V-Star power Star Guardian without relying on uh, Summoning Star in order to get Archeops into play. So how do we? How are we going to get Archeops into play? We all know it's got that Primal Turbo ability that is absolutely absurd. Uh, we're actually going to be playing Mew. So we're going to be playing Mew with Mysterious Tail in order to get item cards, the unidentified fossils, from our deck, put them into play, and also help us grab those sweet, sweet rare candies so we can evolve Archeops as soon as turn two. Now we have a couple of other Pokemon in here in order to help us out. We got one Raining Gardevoir and one Manaphy in here to help us protect our uh, little benched fossil fellas, the unidentified fossils, which we play four of. We have a single escape rope, two switches, and two air balloons in order to effectively switch in and out of the active spot uh, to reset Regigigas' attack. Uh, we're playing four Quick Ball, four Ultra Ball. This is some new art from Crown Zenith, by the way. Um, these cards, you know, Pokemon Surge. We really, really want to be getting our Pokemon out when we need them as fast as possible. Like I said, we got four Rare Candy in here. Playing one Bird Keeper to help us switch and draw cards, as well as two Bosses Orders to help us choose uh, and target what we want to be hitting on our opponent's board. We're playing a single Judge to disrupt those pesky Lost Box decks and decks that just kind of amass a big hand, as well as two Marnie in order to do the, you know, kind of accomplish the same thing, but draw a little bit more cards. We're playing four Professor's Research because we really want to be drawing cards with this deck supporters are our main form of draw here so that's why we need those researches and we also have one serena that can help us get cards in the discard and draw cards or act as a third boss's orders now for other tools and energy we got a single big parasol to stop lost box from uh completely wrecking havoc upon us because it stops that pesky sable eye from going around and KOing our little muse and fossils. We also have one memory capsule. Now the memory capsule is really, really cool because it lets us use the attack on Regigigas B, Angry Whack, for three energy. You do 100 plus 10 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon, and this Pokemon is now confused. Now the great part about that is if your opponent swings into you, they're most likely not going to KO you. And that is where Angry Whack can come into play because you can just do a bunch of damage. You can do, they, let's say they hit you for 200, you can do at least 300 damage, knock out anything. You're confused, you switch, next turn, boom, Angry Whack again, whatever you want to do. Um, so that is what we are rocking with here. For energy, we got four double turbo, two V guard to help Pokemon V take or to take reduced damage from Pokemon V, three capture energy, and four powerful colorless to boost our damage. And that is basically it. Our list, I think, is pretty straightforward here. Um, it's really, really fun to play, and I'm very, very excited to show it off in today's video. So without any further ado, let's get some dubs with Regigigas B Star. My opponent called the coin flip. Unfortunately, we lost. They're likely gonna go first. Uh, and we are going to be, uh, 
not actually this is a pretty good hand for going second i'm not too mad at this we got gardevoir here we can quick ball away like that double turbo get a capture off oh we're playing against gudra this is going to be a very interesting deck because we're actually going to be able to take a one hit on gudra um at some point they're getting another gudra and that's it i'm very hopeful of this uh hand right here we'll quick ball away this boss's orders grab ourselves rich gigas we will capture energy into Mew, switch into Mew, and Mysterious Tail here. Nothing crazy. I guess we can get that memory capsule. Yeah, let's grab that memory capsule. Hopefully we can get another Mew uh, search here or off of our research, we can find our pieces for Archeops. It looks like we actually get pretty far, so I'm happy. You can play that down, play that on Mew and passed my opponent. Now we literally just have to find a rare candy and we are good to go. But we also have some researchers if we need to. Our opponents very likely not gonna get Gujar V-Star up and running. There's that comm fee that they needed in the first turn. So they're playing Lost Goo, which means likely no Melanies uh, and the reliance on Mirage Gate. So if they can get this Gujar out of the active, we are gonna be, uh, you know, having a pretty decent time here. They're gonna get that Colrus experiment off um, and we'll have to see because they might even be able to take a prize. If they hit slip and trip, uh, if they get that metal energy, they can knock out our Mew here and, uh, you know, take us the first prize of the game, which might not be good for us. Um, but you know what? I'm very confident. I'm very confident in our hand. They're just going to evolve right into the V-Star, so I'm not worried. They played their Colrus, so no Melanie. If they're going to escape rope us, I will just go right into this Mew here. That's a pretty easy choice, I think. Uh, now, Raiding Gardevoir combined with Regigigas and the V-Guard energy is gonna mean that we're not gonna be taking a lot from Gudra, uh, and we're gonna be able to use Angry Whack and hopefully take it out in one go. That is our plan here. My opponent's got three cards in the Law Zone. They can get four if they retreat into that Comfe, but they're gonna need to find a Cramorant and a uh, Scoop Up Net or another switching card if they want to attack. So I'm not super worried about this. Uh, we're just going to have to see what they decide to do. Getting rid of a Roxanne is also good because we don't have a draw engine. They're going to path us, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Uh, and now we get to Mysterious Tail. Boom. Rare Candy. I am a happy camper. Happy camper, for sure. We can get Archeops going. And we can Primal Turbo. We'll get ourselves a V-Guard and a powerful Colorless. Uh, we have two V-Stars in the deck, so we're going to be... Uh, chillin as they say in the business. We'll pull another powerful on there as well And I'm debating if we switch into Mew or if we just switch into Gigas here I think we switch into Gigas because there's no way that they knock us out and we research and hope that we find the V-Star No V-Star but another V is all right. We'll put him on the bench Quick ball away quick ball. We'll just take a peek nothing else really there and we can go for an angry whack and take the knock -up. Actually, we can just hammer him Hammer in and taking a knockout. I'm happy with that. So all 90 damage. Get a prize. Another Archaeops is fine. And now we're actually, we've got a really good board set up. My opponent can go for their Gudra. But we might be able to angry whack them. They do what? 200 damage? Oh, they're going to Avery me? You want to Avery me, bro? That's fine. I'll just get rid of my Muse. That's that's fine with me. That's fine with me. They drop that path, which means no Moisture Star for them. They can bump that path, which means, uh, you know... Gardevoir's back into play, so if they do like 200 damage onto us, we're gonna be chilling. They do play Hyper Potions though, so that could be tough. They have Greninja, they're gonna bump that Lake Acuity. That's not what I expected to see. That's not what I expected to see, I won't lie to you. But that's okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. That puts them at an effective 290, uh, plus the Rolling Iron 80 damage. That is gonna bump them up to, what is that, 3... 70 probably gonna go for that attack here you know hitting 370 on us isn't particularly great but that's okay i don't know they're then taking three seventy, so they can just rolling iron us take 150 damage now we got that evo incense so we can get the v star and now we got to do a little bit of math here unfortunately but first um i'll play a mew Quick ball away, Archeops. Yeah, nothing in there. We have some more fossils. We can get another Archeops going if we really want to. But we just gotta think about this critically. I'm actually gonna pull up a calculator. So they're taking a hundred less damage with Lake Acuity and with Rolling Iron. So they have out of they have 370 HP basically. With Angry Whack, we can do 250, 260, 270, 
8290. We can't take a one shot. So we're going to need to get our second Gigas going. But I think we go for the Angry Whack anyways. Yeah, because we're going to be doing more damage. So we'll Primal Turbo here. Get some stuff going on our other Gigas. We'll capture energy. Nothing here. And we can research. There's an Archon, unfortunately. Oh, we can actually bump the... What's it called? The Lake Acuity, which is good. We've got that Popa Stop here. We'll play this down. Uh, we don't really need that right now. Let's go for a Poke Stop. See if we can get... There we go. We got some Fossils. That's exactly what we wanted. We can put a Fossil into play. Uh, we can even... We can Escape Rope. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're we'll Escape Rope here. This is really good for us, actually. We can Escape Rope, and we can take something else out on the bench with this Gigas. That... I'm, I'm content with that, uh, with that play here. And we can actually... Yeah, we can get that Evo Incense out, and we can get our other Gigas V-Star. I'm happy with that. So we'll go into Mew. It's Evo Incense. Grab our other V-Star. We'll put him into play. We can Mysterious Tail. Another rare candy. Rare candy is always good. And we can actually retreat and go into this Rigid Gigas here. And we can just Giga Impact. Do a good chunk of damage. Uh, and knock out my opponent's Greninja. Get an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is perfect because we can get rid of Parasol. We can get rid of Fossil. Another Archaeops into play. Awesome. I'm content with this setup right here. Um, if they don't have a switching card in hand, we can actually bring up that Gujar and take it out in one go. However, it would have been nice if we could escape rope boss next turn, but I really needed to get this Gigas out of the active. So that's what really kind of sucks about this, uh, that whole situation. But we'll have to see what my opponent decides to do. Getting rid of two Ultra Balls here. So this is going to be uh, a little bit of a tougher, a little bit of a tougher go here. Uh, they have the air balloon putting it on the gudra interesting so they gotta have a scoop up net they have a mirage gate okay so we'll see what, what happens here the air balloon on the gudra is interesting that could have been a misplay I'm, I'm a bit i'm a bit curious they're gonna scoop up okay no boss so they have that gudra maybe we can boss's orders up this gudra on the bench yeah they're just gonna rolling iron us but we're going to need the switching option here. Go for an item at Fossil. Play Archaeops up here. Let's go for a Primal Turbo. We got some energy left. So we can actually retreat Gigas and boss up that. That might be what we have to do. Yeah, we'll put some double turbos on this Gigas and retreat it into the other one. And we can boss up and take a KO on that. Or should we hit the Scudra? No, because they can Moisture Star. We gotta take a KO on the other one. Um, I'll Ultra Ball these two cards. Actually, keep Parasol in case we need it. See if there's anything else in here. Serena, we could, we could potentially win this just by bossing around stuff. We'll retreat. Go into this Gigas. And get rid of these two double turbo energy. We can boss up this Gudra here. And go for a angry whack. Boom. We're doing 290 damage. 290 damage onto that Gujo. Get a Manaphy, which we don't really need. We get an Ultra Ball, which is okay. And now they gotta have a switching option in hand. Or else they're kind of just getting greedy with that flower selecting. Um, if we can play our cards right quite literally and knock out that Gujo on the bench, I'm gonna be a happy camper. They got rid of their Hyper Potion, so we're really going to have to take up this Gudra in one go. Pokestopping away a bunch of stuff. They have the Scoop Up Net. They had to have had the Scoop Up Net in there. Um, in order to make things work for them. And now we're going to be in a little bit of a tough spot here, I won't lie. But maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to pull it off. But we're going to have to try and boss around this Gudra. If, if they deny us any other kind of prize taken kit, they're going to Rolling Iron knock us out. Them doing exactly 300 is really, really tough because then we could have just Angry Whacked them and, you know, taken a big uh, KO. Um, there's an Identified Fossil. Let's go for a Primal Turbo here. Yeah, no more energy left, so we can put some on this Archaeops. Uh, let's Mysterious Tail. Let's grab that air balloon. We don't... Oh, man. This is really tough. I think we unfortunately lost the game. We should have gone for a rope boss play. That's what we should have done. 
Um, we kind of misplayed there, but that's okay. Misplays, they happen to everybody. Uh, so I think that's gonna basically be the game here. But we'll have to see. Yeah, there's not much we can do. We'll go into this Gigas. And we can Giga Impact. We're not gonna be doing too, too much. We're only gonna be doing 170. Yeah, that rolling iron is tough. Uh, we actually did pretty good though. We got down to two prizes with Regigigas against Gujra. Gujra's really strong right now. I think it actually just won a regional, like, today, when I'm filming this on a Sunday. Um, so I think that that's what happened. But, nevertheless, that's okay. They're just gonna be able to take the KO here. Uh, they're actually gonna Mirage Gate. Oh, if they Mirage Gate and heal, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. I won't lie to you. Okay, just one energy. So that's fine. There's the other one. Okay. And they're gonna Hyper Potion, yep. Uh-huh. And get about 120 damage. So that really sucks for us. I won't lie to you. That is kind of unfortunate. But that's okay. That's A-OK -okay with me. And yeah, they're just gonna go for the attack. KO or Regigig is here. Very unfortunate. If we had Big Charm, that would be incredible. We would actually be able to win this game. That's okay. I'm not gonna waste anybody's time. We're just gonna concede the game here. Uh, good game to my opponent. They played very well. My opponent gets to call the coin flip here. Tails never fails is what I always say. And look at that. We've absolutely won. So we're absolutely going first. So gonna see what kind of hand we get here. I'm content. I'm happy with- I'm a happy camper with this hand. To be honest with you. We got a lot of good stuff going on. Some quick ball fodder. Yeah, we're- we're in a pre- We got a pretty decent starting hand here with the research to follow up. Opponent's got a Gudra out. This is gonna be tough. Let's Mysterious Tail first. Rare Candy. Okay. We'll drop the Gardevoir. I'm thinking we discard that. And yeah. We absolutely need to get a Fossil down. If we can get a Fossil down, I'll be so happy. No Fossil. Oh man, that sucks. But that's okay. Maybe if we can find a fossil next turn, we'll just Mysterious Tail and wait. That I'd be happy there. My opponent's gonna get an Ultra Ball going so they can discard two cards. It's going to Metal Energy. That's kind of rough, actually. I know, as a big Gujra player myself, I know. Oh, this is Zashian V. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of an interesting Gujra deck, I fear. I feel. Yeah, they're gonna Intrepid Sword there. Maybe getting energy, maybe not. No energy, just cards. Okay. Let's see what we get. We got a Quick Ball. Switch, okay. Do we get a fossil here? No, we just get rare candy. Why are you gonna do this to me? We're just gonna pass. I think we have to research this hand away. Actually, no, maybe not, maybe not. Let's do this. It's a mysterious tale. There is our fossil. And now we can go into play and we'll just pass here okay okay I'm, I'm fine with this this is that wasn't a huge turn but it was kind of a huge turn half the battle is getting whoa 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 zamazenta okay they're gonna slip and trip thankfully our reading gardevoir has saved our mew and we're in a good spot guy okay, Giga's v star awesome Mysterious Tail. Rare Candy. No Rare Candy. Uh, do we need an Evo Incense here? Maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we do. Okay. An Evo Incense. We'll grab Archon. I have a plan here. Will it go into Mew? Rare Candy. Yes, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here is our Archeops, and he is here to play because he's got that Primal Turbo. And now we can Powerful Carlos and Double Turbo on this Regigigas. And let's go for another Pokestop here. Getting rid of our other Regigigas V is a bit tough, I won't lie. Let's Quick Ball away that Archon. We'll grab Manaphy, we don't really need Manaphy. Switch into this Regigigas, and boom, research this away. Okay, now we're chilling. As we say in the business. Oh, unidentified fossil down. And we will just Giga Impact, knocking out this Gudra V here and taking two 
prize cards. Getting an air balloon is pretty decent as well, as well as capture energy is not too bad. I really do want to get some V-Guard energies onto this Fizzer Gigas though. Um, yeah, if I want to get a V-Guard energy down so we can reduce the damage by 50 and hopefully survive enough in order to take some big knockouts in a turn or two. We have the Bird Keeper, which is good. We can Bird Keeper into Mew and switch back and go boom with Giga Impact. That is my hope right now. But we'll have to see what exactly is going to happen here. We're going to get bossed, which is fine. You can boss my Mew. I'm actually kind of happy about that because we have the air balloon in hand. Uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. I won't lie. They're going to put a water engine on Zamazenta and just Intrepid Sword. Thankfully, though, we'll be able to take a knockout on the Zacian right here. There's the energy capsule, which is also, or memory capsule, which is also good. Mysterious tail here. We have escape rope. We can knock out Zamazenta V if we really wanted to, which could be a little bit more of a threat, to be honest. But let's Primal Turbo first. We'll grab a V Guard and a Powerful. Put it on that Gigas. Uh, let's go into this Mew. Mysterious tail. Let's grab a rare candy. And let's Pokestop here. Oh, we got rid of both our Archeops. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Well, do we take out the Zamazenta or the Zacian? I'm thinking we just take out the Zacian here. It's Bird Keeper. Yeah, I think we actually got rid of all the Archeops that were in the deck because of that Pokestop. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> That's kind of tragic, I won't lie. That's fine. We can go for that Giga Impact, taking out Zacian. V. And we get our two prize cards, and now if our opponent... Actually, our opponent can't do anything. If they disrupt our hand, then we lose. But if not, we're actually going to be in a pretty decent spot. Um, next, we have game if they don't disrupt our hand here. And they're going to get the Rusted Shield, which is a bit of an annoyance, actually. Yeah, the Rusted Shield... Oh, are they just going to scoop? Okay, you know what? I'm, I am content with that. I am content with that. Regigigas V-Star takes a dub. It's a hard deck to get functional, but when this one works, it is actually pretty strong. This deck, it's a lot of fun to play, but it's not the best way to play Regigigas. I feel like one of the best ways I've found to play this card is actually through, um, what's it called? Using Arceus V-Star to power it up and playing things like you play your V-Guard energy, you play your other special energy and playing some things like uh, Lake Acuity or playing Melody is probably the best way you melanie so you can get regigigas going in one turn you have some special energy to work with through manual attachments and uh you have like acuity and you have a grand old time tanking and doing a bunch of damage that's probably the best way to play this card but i'm kind of happy with this build i've never tried a fossil archaeops build of any deck but i think that it actually worked out pretty well we did got some pretty good games in today and i couldn't be happier with it uh what would i do to change this deck the fossil the whole fossil archetype really um doesn't give you a lot of space to work with if i were to change some cards though i would try and add in another one one line two two is running a little bit thin because we kind of need to run thin in order to have room for archaeops obviously but Personally, uh, I would want to add in another 2-2 line or try and find room for a Ordinary Rod. It could be, it's really tight for space. You could even get rid of a Quick Ball and put in an Ordinary Rod maybe or like a Capture Energy might be a better bet. Even a Double Turbo if you want to get rid of and put in a Ordinary Rod, that could be a good play. But you know what? You never know. You'll have to see. Check it out. Try for yourself. The deck list is in the description. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Comment below. What do you think of Regigigas V-Star and Crown Zenith? I want to know what you think of the card and the set that the card is from. Uh, make sure you comment down below, like I just said. And subscribe to the channel because I post two new Pokemon Trader Card Game videos every single week here on the Hitmon Candy channel. And I post multiple shorts a week too covering the new cards coming out. Indie Scarlet and Violet set this March, so please take a look at those as well. Uh, the support for the channel has been amazing recently, and I can't thank all of you enough. And hit that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. And with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching. Hitmonchan, out.